And just within the last hour, Plaquemines, St. John, St. Charles and Jefferson parishes, they all joined St. Bernard in declaring a state of emergency. And as Paul Murphy reports, parish leaders across the region are urging residents to prepare for the possibility of heavy rain and to stay informed. Fisherman Russell Boudreau spent the day tending to his boat at the Bucktown Harbor Marina. With twin tropical threats now churning toward the Gulf Coast, Boudreaux hopes the storms miss Louisiana, but he knows you need to be prepared. Well, you put larger ropes on the boat and secure your boats and your property and uh, you know, hope the tide doesn't go up too far. You get everything done before they close the gates. And... Parish leaders are asking residents to spend the weekend getting ready for bad weather. We want them to make sure that all the debris around their homes that could be um, projectiles to pick them up and secure them. We tell them to monitor the storm, um, have a plan. Storm preps actually started three days ago in Jefferson Parish, where crews have been cleaning storm drains and pumping down drainage canals. JP Emergency Management Director Joe Belliente expects the storms to bring high tides and heavy rains. What we're telling everyone to do is that they should stock up on anything that they think that they're going to need because they may be confined to their homes for two or three days. Tropical storm Cristobal pushed water over levees in the eastern part of St. Bernard Parish in June. Parish President Guy McGinnis says that's why he was quick to sign an emergency declaration Friday morning. We're declaring emergency for both of those events so that we can, in the Emergency Operations Center, um, secure our um, uh, portable pumps from Baton Rouge to make sure that um, we can handle any um, overtopping of levees. Plaquemines President Kurt Lapine says both storms could do damage in his coastal parish. Um, we are watching the one, I, I guess it's Marco to the left, um, that will actually push water in for the south. And that's when we have a, a little bit of trouble. Now the one, uh, Laura, to the east will push water in on our east bank. Back at Bucktown Harbor, as fishermen Russell Boudreaux and others prepare for the potential of two hurricanes hitting the Gulf at the same time, Boudreaux says that it just adds additional stress to what has already been a stressful 2020. Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. You can say that again. So again, this weekend, residents are urged to review family hurricane plans. Prepare to shelter in place, check your storm supplies, make sure you have batteries, flashlights, non-perishable food and water. Remove debris from your yard and clean out the catch basins in front of your homes. And if you have a boat in the water, now is the time to move it to safe harbor.